Welcome to 1337 and we have another brilliant hacker here. So Introduce yourself please. What's your name? My and name is uh, Martijn. Really? And I interrupted you. No, no, it's fine. Go yeah. on. Yeah. My name is Martijn. I, uh, I'm a hacker. I'm also the founder of Exclusive. Nice. And uh, I've been brought up by other hackers in the bug bounty community uh, to eventually become this. Can we ask how old you are? Yes. I am 33 years old. Wow. And you've been brought up by the other hackers in the community, so probably hacking from your 16th? Something like that, yeah. I've always been, uh, always been hacking, of course. Okay. Uh, trying to cheat on games, uh, trying to uh, find the easy way to win. Yeah. And um, yeah, also been uh, software developing for uh, half my life. What do you like better, the development or the the hack hacking? Of uh, course, good, yeah. good yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. But it's also nice to uh, to sometimes just change it up a little bit, and start building again. Because you need to know what you hack when you build it. That's true. Like That's it's true. Good. And when you were young, you spent more time on hacking or on developing? Uh, a bit of fifty-fifty. Yeah. Okay. You used to develop a lot of stuff, and then I thought, hey, can I break this? Yeah. Yeah. That was my initial thought every time. Do you know there's women crawling under the table for you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I saw, yeah. <laughs> I ne never had a better day in my life. Can we tilt the camera? Probably not, right? <laughs> no. ah, too bad, okay. Well, really nice. And uh, well, we talked a bit about when you started, but how did you start? Can you remember when you first started hacking, actually? Or was it hacking yeah. or playing? And No, no, it was mainly just for myself. Uh, I always thought hacking was criminal, and it basically is. No. Or well, yeah, it depends on what you do with it, of course. Correct. Yeah. Um, but the things I was doing were uh, they were not very legal. Okay. Um, and then eventually I met uh, some guys from Hacker One. Yeah. I met Jobert and Michiel. Uh, Michiel, and afterwards I uh, met Melvin. Yeah. And uh, from that part on, I just thought, hey, I can uh, make a sandwich out of this. Okay. Um, so, yeah, then I thought, why, why not make this my full-time occupation? And when you started hacking, did you know you were hacking or were you just playing? Because no. that's for me always... I, I, was, I was playing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought, yeah, a computer can do a lot of things. Yeah. And it can do a lot of things I want. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes even more. Okay. And yeah, that was I was just trying out on first on my parents' PC, uh, and then on my own. Yeah. And I always wanted to find out how far I can bend it until it breaks. Yeah. And it often broke. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And one was the first time that you really because you talked about meeting the Hacker One guys and Melvin, and was that the first moment that you thought I can make money out of this, or was it before? No, 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 I, I knew there were some cybersecurity uh, companies, mm -hmm. but I always thought they were like uh, like what you have in CrowdStrike and all the other companies right now that are like endpoint detection, they yeah. just do like a blue team cybersecurity service, and I never really knew it was a, a red team uh, exercise as well. Then you got happy from that, right? Yes, yeah. very, 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 happy. very cool. Yep. But you mentioned cyber. What is your opinion on the word cyber? Yeah, I think it's um, it's part of, uh, of what we do, of course. Um, I usually tell people I, I'm in security, IT okay. security. Yeah. Um, and yeah, cyber has been around, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have really that much of a, of a meaning to me. Okay, so yeah. you're not like, I hate the word or whatever. No. No, it's fine. No. Okay. Sometimes it's a bit overused. Yeah. But uh, I don't hate it. Yeah. Okay. I don't hate a lot of things. I'm kind of uh, laid back. Uh, it's all good guy. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. And when you first know, knew that you could get money, what were some of the challenges you stumbled upon? Because I can imagine it's not like you, okay, I can make money, bam, money. No, 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 of course. And um, when I started doing this and I was talking to, uh, to the other guys that uh, brought, al brought me along, mm -hmm. um, I had to learn a lot. Uh, and I like learning. Okay. Uh, not in a traditional way in school because 
yeah, I'm a that school, sucks, I'm a right? school dropout. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I do like to learn, and all the things that I really and that I'm interested in, I I can take it on like a like a sponge. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to soak all the information up, uh, and then I go like. Uh, for like 80 hours a week, I'll go studying and practicing and trying stuff out. Less sleep. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. less sleep. I think that's uh, uh, quite common among hackers. Uh, even though it's healthy to sleep like a full night. But, yeah. It is difficult sometimes, difficult. but healthy. Yeah. And, and also when you first got, can you remember your first bounty you got or your first payment you got in? Um, No, not really, actually. I do remember hacking the government as one of the first targets because I knew they the had Dutch like a, one a responsible disclosure. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like uh, the tax administration. Mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah, everyone loves the tax administration. Oh, so, they got uh, good hackers there as well. So. Right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I thought, why not give it a go? Mm -hmm. And uh, I hacked them. Nice. Um, with some uh, <laughs> leftover backdoor that I discovered. A leftover uh, backdoor? <laughs> yeah. Which uh, they were already compromised, and I noticed them about. They were like, "Oh, they scratch their head a little bit," and uh, I thought, "Yeah, this is this is one of the first things I, I've I've discovered." Yeah. But then I found like three or four other things on the, uh, on different servers from them. Okay. So they uh, they sent me out like this uh, trophy. Yeah. The cup. The cup. Yeah. Yeah. Which was uh, not a monetary reward, of course, but uh, was quite cool. But that was the first one. That was the first. Hey, first monetary. Remember that one? Um, yeah, goes goes back quite a while. Uh -huh. I, think, I think it was on on Hacker One. Okay. Yeah. Well, and it was a big one or no, just a small one, uh, like four or five hundred euros or something. Okay. Yeah. And then quite uh, quick after that, I found uh, some stuff on Zerocopter platform. Uh, well, nice not platform, on, on the Zerocopter platform. Yeah, yeah I agree. Okay. But, um, just on one of their programs. Okay. Yeah. And did you make a really, really big one that you can? Uh, yeah, I made a thirty thousand dollar bounty on Microsoft, uh, nice. which was uh, really nice. Uh, I can remember it like the day it was yesterday. And you I, probably uh, can't talk about it, right? No, I can't talk about it in detail. Uh, uh -huh. But I can talk about everything that's surrounded it and the, some things that led to it. Okay. Um, but I, uh, uh, I still remember being hacking at two thirty and uh, on a Tuesday night. I was still uh, working as a solo uh, hacker mm -hmm. uh, during COVID. Yeah. And um, I got the email. Uh, and Microsoft, they're, they're always just really plain and boring emails. And they said, oh, congratulations, you got a $30,000 uh, bounty. What did you do? Yeah, I, uh, I woke up my girlfriend. Okay. Said, you're, you're not going to believe this. And, uh, well, yeah, it was uh, standing there, black on white. And then the tax administration came? Then the tax administration <laughs> came. No, no, no. I, uh, I have a bookkeeper. Okay. That, uh, that does my uh, bug bounty uh, tax administration. And that works? That works, yeah. I still haven't paid uh, anything. Nice. So, so tip uh, for the hackers, get a bookkeeper. Get a bookkeeper, yeah. It yeah, works? for sure. Yeah. Okay, good yeah. one. Uh, especially one that's also a bit in IT. Mm -hmm. Might help a little bit. Or uh, one that has experience with uh, With this, yeah. Because it can sometimes be hard, right? Yeah, it can. Especially if you're, uh, this one was, uh, the bounty was from America, uh, so it's a bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, for example, at Zerocopter you get a nice invoice, you can just hand it over to the, to the tax guys. Uh, but America doesn't do that, mm -hmm. even if you're like a uh, set uh, payer, like uh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. single, single person, operator yeah, or whatever, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Dutch version. Um, yeah, that's some challenge, uh, sometimes challenging. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, in the end it was all good. And did you next to the bug bounty stuff also work a regular job? Yeah, I uh, started in, as a junior pen tester in 2016 okay. at the uh, ITSEC, mm -hmm. which later became Qubit and uh, was later sold on uh, to another party, uh, which I left in 2020 uh, at the day uh, COVID started. So I was a solo uh, entrepreneur uh, from that on. Yeah. Um, and I also started working and doing some stuff for Zerocopter. 
which was uh, which was even better mm. uh, because I had all the freedom that I could uh, could imagine. Yeah. I was hacking, I was doing some triage stuff, and uh, in the meantime, I was still doing some uh, free. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, yeah, some pen tests on, uh, on a free basis. And did you learn anything in the pen tests that you used in bug bounties, vice versa? Yeah, both. Yeah? Both ways. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's a lot of things that you... There's more out, out of the box thinking mm -hmm. uh, with bug bounty, uh, which I also uh, use in my pen test. And in my pen test there's a lot of things that you... Because you have, need to have a lot of coverage. Uh, you want to have every single thing of an application or a mobile application that that there is to find. You want to bring up. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's also I combine them. Okay. Uh, um, that's that's way of my methodology. Because I, well. I I hear a lot of bug bounty people saying that they will never do pen tests or whatever. But you're saying yeah, it well might not. be good. Yeah. Okay. We uh, we have one of our guys at Exclusive uh, who is who also originated from uh, the bug bounty uh, scene. Uh, was doing pen tests. And he actually loved it, mm. uh, also because we have a lot of clients that are uh, first-time uh, pen test uh, clients. So their application is broke. Yeah. Uh, so, so, sometimes it's like uh, the OWASP juice shop, okay. uh, so you can really find some cool <laughs> stuff. That one. Yeah, but we also have companies uh, as a client that have uh, like five or six years of experience in pen testing and uh, we have to dig a little deeper mm. uh, and those are the, the ones that are really uh, showing fun. some results yeah. and uh, are fun you can really collaborate on cool yep. cool and and at some point you started exclusive right yeah in and 2020 <laughs> so you're still owner i am uh, the founder and okay. i'm a shareholder at yeah. the moment and uh, i'm doing it with my companion and, uh, and an investment party. And um, regarding hacks, what is the, in your opinion, one of the coolest one you did? If um, you can talk about it, of course. Yeah, it's probably going to be the Microsoft one. Um, there's also a lot of other ones, uh, but the the bounties were a lot less. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but do bounties connect to you to a fun hack or? No, 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 no. But um, uh, they were all criticals. Yeah. Uh, but so one pays more than the other. And to be honest, when I'm hacking, I don't really care about the money. No. Uh, I care about the challenge and uh, how to hack a company. Uh, but these days, the higher the bounty, the tougher the target. Yeah. Uh, sure. So yeah, that's kind of uh, one of my comparisons. Uh, but I did find a lot of cool stuff and one of the things I really love to find is uh, blind XSS. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I popped a lot of admin panels with that um, and more of course. Yeah. Um, and I also like to, uh, to look for secrets. Yeah. And do you also, if you <laughs> find a bug, do you continue on the bug or is it mostly I find a bug and then quit? Yeah, it depends because I've also hacked on uh, Cynic Red Team mm -hmm. and they had like a very strict rule of stop and report. Uh, and you sometimes your bounty gets discarded even if you, uh, if you don't or if you continue on the bug. So when I was hacking for them, uh, especially in 2020, uh, 2021, uh, I, I was doing that a lot. I was just, I would just find it, stop and report, uh, because I had a collaboration. Isn't it like frustrating? Yeah, it is because I had a collaboration with uh, Nephi, mm -hmm. uh, Nathaniel, uh, years ago, and he found some really cool stuff that he also used on some other programs that that did allow him to uh, continue on it, um, but. At, at that point, we were stopped, and basically we were yeah cut off of thousands and thousands. Yeah, of, yeah that was that was bad, um, and also quite sad, of course, yeah. because it was also my first collaboration with him, uh, and we yeah bumped against that wall. Yes, oh, it's yeah. a shame. And do you also have like a really funny one? Where you laughed your ass off basically because of what you found or the reaction yeah. or whatever. Basically, anytime it's like a juice shop kind of yeah. uh, thing, when you find an application that's so ancient or, or broken, uh, that you just say, like, this can't be true. Because you also do a lot of mobile hacking, right? Yes. And is that way different than the normal web, you think? Or? Um, well, yeah, basically because you have, uh, if you think about it, like the workflows and that kind of stuff and how an ap application works, uh, it's kind of the same. Uh, you, it, the only thing you have to do is just put a phone in between uh, mm -hmm. where you normally have like your web browser and Burp Suite and that kind of stuff. You also have to set up your phone. 
Um, and you have, of course, the static analysis, so you have the actual source code of the, uh, the application. Um, but yeah, basically, in the end, I don't think it's, it's a lot different mm -hmm. in, in that kind of stuff. But you can, of course, reverse engineer it a lot easier and find uh, very yeah, because different you have stuff. the app. Exactly, yeah. And you also have a phone, which is very different from uh, like, a, like a laptop. But a lot of hackers, I think, look, uh, maybe not look up to phone hackers, but stay away from it because they don't know it. But would you say, go for it? It's yeah, easy. of course, yeah. If you like a challenge, you should definitely go for it. And everything that's new, you should try it. And you that's think there's more to find still in mobile? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's more, but it's different. Okay. And different is usually uh, better. Uh, because fun. Yeah, also uh, a bit more challenging sometimes. Um, but yeah, everyone uh, these days is running recon and running nuclei and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so you have a very high chance of finding duplicates. Mm -hmm. And the amount of people that are actively looking at mobile applications, because there's some, some other people uh, who, who really reverse engineer all this stuff and really find like, cool shit. really cool yeah. shit. Um, there's, there's not a lot of competition there. And of course, it's, it's growing because yeah. uh, there's more and more hackers coming into this But scene. still, you think it's a field that if you want to yeah. expand and make a difference now, you might want to look at that maybe. Yeah, for sure. Cool. And what are some of the tools and resources you used or used in your career that you would like advice to starting hackers um, or starting in a mobile maybe? Yeah, for mobile it's quite straightforward. Uh, I'd say just get a bit of an older phone, like uh, I still use the Samsung S8, wow. uh, which is quite ancient at the moment, I think we're at the S23 at the moment, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it still works and you can and also do... Also old OS on it then? No, I'm running uh, Lineage OS on it, Okay. Yeah. Uh, like a custom ROM. Uh, but that's it. There's no. Yeah, of course it's, uh, it's rooted, mm -hmm. uh, but that's the only modification I made to it. So uh, you don't need, need that much, mm -hmm. but you need time and patience for it because first of all you have to prepare the phone. Uh, but once you've all set, once it's all set up, it's quite cool to do. Okay. And for web, what are your favorite tools? Yeah, for web, I uh, of course I also use Nuclei for mm -hmm. some uh, some recon stuff, but I use my own custom templates. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's I think where the difference is in. Uh, because Nuclei is a very good tool, it's open source, mm -hmm. uh, made by the community, uh, for the community and now expanding. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, other than that, I use uh, Burp, uh, Burp Suite, uh, I use Nmap. Do you uh, have a license for Burp Suite? Yes, of course. Get a yes. license. Get a license. Yeah. I, I've done uh, triage, uh, of course. Uh, I, was, I was really strict. I'm sorry for the guys that I uh, punished for it. Uh, but I actually banned people from the platform for it. Um, it's good. Yeah, I'm uh, very strict in it. Yeah, don't uh, get a license. Yeah, if you're finding like bugs for like uh, two, three, four, five thousand euros, and you you still don't want to buy a license, then uh, yeah. It sucked. So you first yeah. bought a license, and then you did all the tattoos, probably, right? Yeah. I, um, yeah, tattoos were some of the bug bounties have been have been gone into tattoos. Nice. Uh, especially Do you have this like one. an active one, which yeah, okay, I see that. Yeah, I've got a hacker. Is there another one where you think, okay, this reminds me of a bug? Um, not particularly. Okay. Because at at one point I went pretty fast. Yep. Uh, with some tattoos, uh, but no, uh, the only uh, recent one is this. Good okay. boy from Fallout. Yeah, nice. It's one of the games I grew up with. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's just uh, just good memories. And do you have a zero copter logo tattooed somewhere? No, ah, not yet. Okay. okay. No. Oh, it might be enough. Might, yeah, why not? But yeah. w why are you hacking by on zero copter, by the way? Do you have like a preference? No, well, I went from, uh, because I, uh, like I told you, I, um, yeah, Melvin introduced me mm -hmm. to the, like the real uh, pen testing world and also bug bounties, uh, which I also met Oliver, mm -hmm. uh, Oliver. and um, they were all uh, active on, on Zerocopter and uh, even working uh, with Zerocopter. Uh, so that was my introduction. Uh, the company I was working for also did some uh, some work for Zerocopter every now and then. Uh, so that's my entry point to Zerocopter. I've okay. always uh, stick stick with it. And you like it? Yeah, sure. 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we like having you there. Cool. Um, one other thing which is, of course, always hot in the scene is swag. What's the favorite swag you ever got? I, uh, I have to, to say uh, the, the DEF CON Syracopter t-shirt was pretty cool, uh, yeah. which I yeah, got from you. Um, sorry. But uh, I also got the Microsoft Security Research uh, or Response Center uh, stuff. Okay. Uh, there was like a complete swag pack uh, when I uh, went to DEF CON. I also got an invite from Microsoft mm -hmm. as one of their MVPs. Uh, because I found uh, the critical yeah. bug. Yeah. Um, so they, uh, when I was in Vegas, they uh, got a, got like a luxury cab uh, to the hotel, picked me up, and we went to area 51? 15, yeah, 15, yeah. Uh, which was amazing. And I saw like everyone from Microsoft uh, tech team and their CISOs and their, uh, the people who were actually uh, handling the bugs, uh, nice. fixing them. Uh, I also got a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with the uh, people uh, and they even told me like, oh, you have to check this out and this out and this out because no one ever looked at that. Oh, cool. Uh, so that was quite Did cool. Help? Uh, yes, but at that moment I was also starting up, uh, or well, forming exclusive, up exclusive. Yeah. Uh, so I had a lot of less, or, or less time to, uh, to do some hacking and bug bounty. Um, but yeah. It's but you're still running exclusive, so do you have a lot of time still, or is it? I I, I actively make time to uh, to do okay. bug bounty. Yeah. So you now yeah. make time slots, bug bounty, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, sometimes I do uh, a full weekend of bug bounty when I uh, when I feel like it, uh, and sometimes I uh, just go for a beer. And do and do you do it now uh, alone or more in teams? No, mostly alone. Okay. Yeah. And I know uh, collaboration is, uh, is, is paying off. Uh, you can really see it in the last few years it's been rising, uh, which I think is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but I haven't really found anyone to, uh, to collaborate with on a, like on a steady uh, basis. Okay. So, uh, yeah, if anyone's up. Ooh, it's like Tinder for hackers now. Right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. But we were talking about, about DEFCON um, cons. Is there any co favorite con for you to go to? Or um, well, I really liked uh, the hack in the box one in yeah. Amsterdam. But it's never in Amsterdam anymore, I think now, right? No, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah. Uh, I've, of course, I've been to DEFCON, uh, which is something you have to do as a hacker at least once uh, to just go there, die, yeah. come back, yeah. right? Mm. Um, yeah, and there's there's a couple of cool ones coming up uh, in in e Asia, okay. uh, and as I'm quite a big fan of Asia, I uh, yeah I would like to combine it. So okay, that's uh, that's something that's up uh, in the planning. Nice. Yeah. And is it then holiday or work? No, both. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you get your days off to go there, or you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Really cool. Really cool. And you're a fan of Asia. What country specific? Uh, mainly Thailand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the cool cons in Thailand then? Um, I think I just missed one. Okay. Uh, I think Leonard went to the, to one as well there in, uh, okay. in Thailand. Um, can't recall the name. Okay. I'm, I'm not very good at, at, at names. So. I'm wondering what happens if you Google Thailand conning. But hey. Yeah, yeah, that, that might, yeah. 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 Google Might be a safely, little bit more people. specific. Google safely. Okay. And if you look at what you learned in the past, it's a lot. Uh, I can imagine because you're a hacker that you, uh, as you said, you never will stop learning. What's something you are really keen in on learning in the future still? Is yeah. there anything that you want to focus yeah, on? Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of cryptocurrencies mm. and even more about how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really digging into the Web3 and the smart contract uh, stuff. There's a lot of money to be There's made There's a there. lot of money there. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, I'm more in for a challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, a nice bounty is always uh, welcome. Um, but being able to, uh, for instance, stop uh, like a like a like a blockchain or like an entire cool. uh, 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 like digital bank, yeah. that would be really cool. If you can steal like uh, 70 million from a from a chain, yeah, that would be really cool. In theory, because I'm gonna. But then do it ethically, it. of course, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
And um, so that's very interesting. I also find uh, the code, like Solidity and that kind of stuff for smart contracts, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's where I'm spending a lot of my time uh, in, or my free time in lately. Uh, and I've also been, uh, I'm interested in AI, uh, model hacking and um, like the prompt injection and that kind of stuff. Cool. Um, yeah, I just want to go with the flow. Uh, because yeah, the, the web free stuff, the AI models, it's all something that's really upcoming, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of money and people and tech in, involved. So, and any hardware hacking? Did you do that? No. Besides my uh, my phones, uh, no, 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 no interest. Well. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm more of a software guy, yeah. uh, and I'm also there's software in there, you know. Yeah, no, that's that's why I usually come in. Okay. Uh, but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a bit clumsy. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I, I tend to break some stuff and that's beyond cool. beyond repair. Ah, nice. Uh, so now it's it's also not where my interest is. Okay. So uh, it's mainly on software and uh, that kind of stuff. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, is there anything I think you want to? Shout out to the other hackers who are listening or the people who are viewing this. Yeah, yeah. keep on learning and, and hack the world. Hack the planet. Hack the planet, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Till the next.